You're watching Dokkotek, and this is the driving impression of the Volkswagen ID3. So, in my last video, I mentioned how excited I was for the Volkswagen ID3, and this is because the Volkswagen ID3 has been built by Volkswagen, of course. They are known for building very iconic and very uh, great cars. And of course, the Volkswagen ID3 is supposed to live up to the expectations of those great cars. Say, for example, the Volkswagen Golf. I mean, Volkswagen Golf has sold more than 35 million units worldwide since its inception. And the Volkswagen ID3 is, is an air successor or is the next successor to the Volkswagen Golf. Which is actually good because now this this ID3 has actually been built as a bespoke electric car, which means it has been built from the ground up as an electric car, which is actually nice. It has this nice and airy feel to it. And uh, starting with the driving of this ID3, I've actually used this ID3 mostly for daily driving, which is actually great. Uh, this ID3 is actually a great car for daily driving. And also shout out to Volkswagen for this ID3. They've actually been of great help and yeah subscribe to this channel and like this video it also helps me get more interesting electric cars like this one right off the top i would say of course it's an electric car it's really really quiet composed and really easy to drive as a matter of fact the steering of this car is actually great in town parking because this car actually has a very very small turning radius of about 10 meters which is actually really small, actually better than the Golf. The turning radius of this car is really small and great, which makes it easy for parking around the town, which is great. And so the ID3 is a really composed, nice, well-built electric car, well put together. Everything has been nicely laid out, apart from the few gripes I have with the infotainment system and some of the functions and controls. The ID3, although it's going to face a lot of competition because, of course, there are other electric cars that are coming out, the ID3 does or holds its own well against those electric cars such as the Nissan Leaf and the Kia Soul, which is actually good. Yeah, so visibility out the front of this ID3 is really great because of the low dash. Visibility out the side is also good. I actually love this window here, which actually gives it much more nice visibility out to the side of this car. All in all, visibility is very great in the ID3, which I really, really like. So sitting in the stoplight and taking a moment to look at the design of the ID3, of course, I love the way this uh, infotainment system is actually angled towards the driver. It doesn't it doesn't require you to take your eyes much off the road when you are driving this ID3, which is actually good. For the infotainment system itself or for the user interface in itself, it actually still has some improvements to do. But then, of course, this interior is actually well built. It's actually well put together which is actually great for this ID3. When I first um, got this car, I wasn't really impressed on the size of the driver's display here. It's actually just a small five inch screen, but then it displays really nice and usable information, which is great. And in town driving is actually really, really good because this car is really small. That makes it very nimble and agile. Of course, the steering is very, very responsive. It's, the steering is, is really, really responsive makes it very nice to place this car on the road. It doesn't have all the semi-autonomous system like the Kia EV6, but then it has adaptive cruise control, which is good. So when you are in stop and go traffic, when it notices the car moving in front of you moves, then it also moves along with you, which is actually good. And also the display on the far right of the infotainment system actually comes on when you use the map of this ID3. So it actually shows you the direction which you are supposed to point towards, which is actually good. Now, this ID3 has another neat feature in it, which is this light bar, which goes across the whole dashboard of this ID3. So when you're using the navigation system of this ID3, there's a light that flashes, showing you which direction to point. If you can see, the light will flash towards the direction which you need to point. So you don't actually need to look at the screen. It's a nice way of the car communicating with you because that light, when it flashes, when it flashes to the right, Especially when you're using the map, that means you should turn to the right, which is actually good. I actually love the way this car communicates. That LED light bar actually does other things when you're charging the car. It actually 
beeps to show you how much charging is actually left in the car. And so the ID3 is reasonable, comfortable, driving over speed bumps, and it's not really, really harsh. It's still soft over speed bump, really soft and composed over speed bumps, which is great. So using this driver's display, of course, you can use the view and switch if you want to switch towards the screen of the adaptive cruise control, which is actually nice. And here it can it can it can recognize the lane just as it's shown on the screen here, which is actually good. And then it it can when the green light appears, it actually shows that it recognizes the lane and the adaptive cruise control can actually work, which is actually great. And going around bends, yes, the Volkswagen ID3, because of that higher a center of gravity it has because it's really tall it actually leans around the bend it's not that much to upset you but then it still leans to uh left and right towards the bend which is not actually a bad thing for the volkswagen id3 so i'm going over to one of the most iconic stores in hamstad which is hamstad arena and of course there are a lot of tight parking spaces in hamstad arena but then the id3 for its turning radius and how small it is makes it really easy to park this ID3 which is actually nice uh let's find a space let's find a space okay here's one here's a really tight parking spot and let's see if it fits into that parking spot and with one turn you can easily fit the ID3 into tight parking spots a few minutes later so the 200 and one horsepower and 310 newton meters of pulling force of this electric car it drives the rear wheels only it actually makes sense because um it's a rear wheel drive electric car uh it doesn't mean you you take this electric car or, and do some drifting around it no it actually has that rear wheel drive for efficiency and this is really an efficient electric car to have i've been using this car from 100 percent every day and even at this point, I have about 94% capacity of battery capacity with about 352 kilometers of range. Which means having this electric car, you wouldn't have uh, range anxiety. Although at a point in time where you need to charge this electric car and you can actually live with charging this electric car from your electric wall box in your house, it will take eight hours. But if you can find a fast charger with about 210 volts of charging capacity, then you can charge this electric car from 10 to 80 percent in 35 minutes or so which is actually good okay so electric cars actually have two driving modes just like the ev6 that i reviewed uh, some weeks back and when you put it in the regenerative braking mode it actually uses the electric motor to slow the car down and the ev6 you can actually adjust between uh, the different levels of regenerative braking and the way it works in the ev6 just like in the tesla the regenerative braking can actually slow the EV6 to a complete stop. But that's a different iteration here in the Volkswagen ID3. Of course, B mode marked on the gear selector here, you just twist it much more forward and it goes into B mode. Now, what this B mode does, it, it allows you to take your foot off the pedal and the electric motor actually slows the car down. But the downside to this, or the, the, the way Volkswagen has made this one, is it doesn't slow the car down to a complete stop. So you cannot really have one pedal driving which is kind of a downside for me because electric cars are actually very very good when you have that one pedal driving where they can use the electric motor to slow the car down to a complete stop yes this works that way but then the difference with those other systems is that it doesn't slow the car down to a complete stop so right now i'm on b mode now and i take my foot off the gas it slows the car down and it keeps on slowing the car down it doesn't slow it to a complete stop the car gradually creeps forward which i don't like so let's go back into uh, the normal driving mode which is what we have here and then apart from the regenerative uh braking there are other different modes of driving the volkswagen id3 so on this instrument panel here on the far right of the instrument panel there's a button max mode here and when you press that button it brings up a screen which shows echo comfort and sport so you can actually drive this car in economic mode in comfortable or in sports so far so good i have been using this id3 in eco mode which is all that you would ever need and i mean drive this car is not a sports car so the sports mode setting on this volkswagen id3 is just for you know sharpening throttle response and you know just making the acceleration a bit faster 
of course it's an electric car and electric cars have that instant talk when you step on the gas the talk comes instantly which is good for um having an electric car but then when you have it in that sports mode it just comes in more sharper makes the throttle more sharper makes the steering much more responsive which we'll be testing okay so putting the id3 in sports mode and what does this do as i can feel now it actually sharpens the steering input and make the electric talk come more instantly which is actually good of course it's an electric car and it's actually very easy to go above the speed limit because of how fast it can go in this electric car and that's what sports mode does and the brakes in the id3 are actually very nice and progressive they are not grabby um, most times electric cars their brake are sometimes grabby but this one is a very nice and progressive brake pedal which is actually nice and brake feel is also very good in the Volkswagen ID3. In conclusion uh, ID3 is a very nice and accomplished electric family car it does most of the things it's actually built to, to do well that means it has a lot of space it's practical it's very easy to drive and very easy to live with also very great to charge with enough battery range and battery capacity for your daily needs which is actually good although yes some of the systems in the id3 would require some improvement just like the infotainment system here of course that needs improvement but then you know this car has actually been built well and it has actually been well put together by Volkswagen, which is actually a great work and yeah using this id3 has actually been great once again shout out to Volkswagen for this id3 and also please do consider subscribing to this channel it actually goes a long way which is nice like the video it's actually great and share which is great and so that's my verdict on the ie3 it's a very nice and accomplished electric family car and it's actually good it's one of those cars that would live up to its expectations as an electric car of course it's safe and it holds its value over a long period of time which is one of the things you want from an electric car because most of the cars these days uh, are not good in holding up their value over a long time but this ID3 is actually good in holding up its value over a long period of time which is actually great so then coming to the end of this video what do I think about the ID3 would the ID3 be the next successor to the Golf I think it has the potential to be although there's much more improvements to be done in the Volkswagen ID3 but then so far so good it's a great electric car it's a must have actually if you want an electric car to use daily then the Volkswagen ID3 is worth considering until then thanks for watching this video catch you guys in the next one peace